Hello and welcome to our Cucina Rustica. My name is Pino Dicervo. This is my mom. Filomena Dicervo. And let's not forget our special guest today, our Christmas gnome, because we are making a Christmas dish that's so traditional in our parts of Italy. Mom, tell our friends what we're making. Oggi facciamo i struffoli. Struffoli. It might be a funny name, but there's nothing funny about this recipe. It's absolutely fantastic. It's deep fried little balls of dough with honey on top of it and some sprinkles. They're absolutely delicious and no Christmas is complete in our house without struffoli. Alright, the ingredients we're going to need for this is flour, sprinkles, lemon zest, vegetable oil, salt, baking powder, sugar, eggs, a little package of vanilla powder you'll find them in any grocery store. You'll need strega di Bonovento. This is a liqueur that's available in any LCBO. If you can't find strega, which I'm sure it's there, you can also use pernod or what's the other one that you use? Mille Fiori. Mille Fiori works well, but this is very traditional in our parts. It's got this beautiful uh, aroma to it. Uh, try to find it, please. And then it's good to drink afterwards too. And of course, we're going to need some honey. These are the ingredients. For the full list of ingredients and measurements, visit the website, pinotichero.com. Mom, this must bring you back to when you were a little girl making yes. these truffoli. They were good then, and they're even better now. All right, let's get this going. We have our eggs. To our eggs, we're gonna add our vegetable oil, and we're gonna add our lemon zest. And my mom's gonna whisk all that up, okay? Perfect. To their dry ingredients, we're gonna add our package of vanilla powder. We're gonna add sugar. We're gonna add a pinch of salt and some baking powder, and we're gonna mix this all together. But now, we also have to add to get to this, right? Yeah. Alright, so for the full measurements, visit the website, but you know, you don't have to be too shy on this today. One, how's that? Now you might be wondering why I am pouring three shots of Stega. One for the gnome, <laughs> one for the the struffoli, and mom, come on, I know you love this stuff. It's early in the morning. Cheers. Cheers. I have to drink it fast. To drink it faster. No, it's good like that. All right. Now we add our flour to the the mixture, and we're gonna mix it up until it forms a ball, and then we're gonna get our hands in there and work it with our hands. Okay. So with the whisk, we whisk it all together. Um, after the whisk, it gets a little bit hard. So my mom put her hand in the bowl and started working it with her hand just to bring it all together. So you can see that with a little bit of extra bench flour, we're gonna dust the counter. And we're going to knead the dough until it's a nice, um, smooth consistency. And that's going to take uh, three or four minutes. Yeah. Two or three minutes? Yes. Just a few minutes, just to knead it together. All right, so our dough is perfect. My mom kneaded it for two to three minutes. You get this beautiful dough here. It smells so gorgeous with that lemon and that slig inside of it. You can see the there's a little bit of bounce to it, but it's a pretty tough dough for now. Okay. Now, we need to cut little strips off of it and roll them out into these long, um, ropes, if you will. And with very little flour on the table, if you need it at all, you're just going to, with the palm of your hands, roll it up. Now, I'm going to make another one, but slower. You're too fast sometimes. I'm too fast. Sorry. Don't be sorry. All right. So you can see, when she's cutting it off, she's just cutting off strips like that. And now, you're rolling it out. There you go. We're going to keep on going until we make them all like that. It's time to cut our ropes into little pieces. So what we're looking for is little pieces like this. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time, but I tell you right now, it's well worth it. Perfect. Okay, we cut out all our little stufflet. Now it's time to deep fry them. So into the pan is an inch of Aurora vegetable oil. Uh, bring it up to about 325 to 350 degrees and start frying them. To make sure your oil is ready, we're gonna do the test. You're gonna put one inside. If that floats to the top within three or four seconds, it's ready to go. Yep. See that? Right to the top. So, be careful with this. Anytime you're deep frying, you have to be very careful. We're going to work in small batches. We're not going to put them in. We're not going to drop them in. We're going to use the ladle to put them in like that. So, is that too many or is that good? How many more? A little bit more? Yeah. All right, let's put them in like this. Make sure you take them apart just in case they stick a little bit. And inside. Okay, and we're going to fry these. How long is that going to take, Mom? 30 seconds to a minute, yeah. and we're looking for a golden brown color. And work in small batches, it's always better. Okay, here we are. All the struffoli are out of the hot oil, and we put them on a paper lined plate just to absorb any of that excess oil. And they're like these little, oh, they're so good. You can even eat them like this, but we're gonna do something even better. We're gonna coat them in honey and sugar. Oh, so good. 
So in a big pot, Mom, sorry, I'm talking with my mouthful. She always says, don't talk with your mouthful. We're going to add our Aurora honey to this, the whole jar of Aurora honey. We're going to add sugar to this as well. And we're going to melt the sugar and we're going to bring up the, the honey until you see a little bit of bubbles around the edges where everything is nice and melted and nice and hot. And when that happens, we're going to toss in our stufli into that. Okay, Mom, ready? It's ready. So you see those little bubbles inside there? They're tiny bubbles around the edges and in the middle. We're going to turn off our heat and we're going to add the big plate, the strufli to here. Put them all in there. And then with the spatula, don't oh, bless awesome. With the spatula is always the best idea to just stir everything until it's nicely coated, okay? And then get yourself a beautiful decorative plate because we're going to arrange them on a plate and then sprinkle them with some sprinkles. Oh, it smells so good in here. Just that sweetness in the air. All right, so you probably need two or three plates, depending how big you want to do them. And now what my mom does is she puts it all the way around the plate, like a wreath. There's going to be like a hole in the center and all the way around. Then you can get your hands in there and shape them. Right, Mom? Yeah. Don't be afraid. It's not too hot. Don't worry. Ooh, I can't wait. No, are you ready for some stufli? Yes, Philomena, I'm ready. Okay, so once you have your wreath, one last scoop, make it nice and round. Beautiful. Wait, wait a moment. Okay, wait a moment. Yes, mom, she's not ready yet. You can't rush perfection over here, folks. With your hands or with a spoon, you just make it a nice little circle. And at the end, you have your Christmas sprinkles ready. Can I do it now, mom? Okay, okay, sorry. I'm going to rush this. I just want to try one so bad. Okay? Perfect? Okay. All right, it's time. Our sprinkles. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. All of them, Mom. All of them we're going to put. Beautiful. Beautiful. Our struffoli are now ready. No? Do you want some? Sorry? All right. I'll have them. I'm just going to use a spoon. Take a big spoonful here. Mmm. Dalla nostra cucina rustica, buon appetito. Buon Natale.